Howdy folks, new subscribers, it's a pleasure to have you on board. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do so. Welcome to our little corner of the internet, where we explore the fascinating, the peculiar, and the downright bizarre from around the globe. Your support helps us uncover more of these hidden gems, and we're thrilled to have you with us on this journey. So buckle up as we take you on a journey to the heart of Europe, to the enchanting land of Montenegro. Nestled in Europe's Balkan Peninsula, Montenegro is a gem waiting to be explored. This country, smaller than Connecticut, beautifully straddles the line between eastern and western influences. It's a land of contrasts. Rugged mountain ranges kiss the serene Adriatic Sea, while ancient fortified towns share the landscape with minimalist modern architecture. Montenegro's history is a rich tapestry woven with threads of Roman, Venetian, Ottoman, and Austro-Hungarian rule. Each era left its indelible mark, shaping the country's unique culture and traditions. The Montenegrin spirit, resilient and welcoming, is reflected in the folk music that echoes through the valleys, the hearty traditional cuisine, and the vibrant festivals that fill the calendar. But it's not just the beauty and history that makes Montenegro special. When you delve deeper, you'll find that it's also home to some of the most bizarre things you'll ever find. So let's embark on this fascinating journey together, shall we? First up, we have the dancing goat tradition. Now this isn't your everyday barnyard jig. In Montenegro, the dancing goat is a symbol of entertainment and good luck. The tradition dates back centuries, when folks believed that goat dances could ward off evil spirits. Nowadays, it's a festive spectacle with goats adorned in colorful outfits prancing to the rhythm of local tunes, it's a sight that both locals and tourists look forward to. Who knew goats could be such great dancers, right? Next on our list, Montenegro's Museum of Old Computers. Yes, you heard it right. This peculiar place is a tech lover's dream, housing an eclectic collection of computers dating back to the dawn of the digital age. Expect to see everything from the colossal room-sized machines of the 50s to the first personal computers of the 80s you'll be amazed at how far we've come in such a short time. So, pack your curiosity and get ready for a fascinating journey through the history of computing. Talk about a blast from the past. Let's move on to two more peculiarities. The Lipa Cave and the house in the middle of the highway. First up, the Lipa Cave. This captivating cavern, nestled in the heart of Montenegro, offers a subterranean spectacle like no other. A vast labyrinth of tunnels adorned with breathtaking stalactites and stalagmites. It's a testimony to Mother Nature's artistic prowess. Each chamber reveals a new kind of magic, from the echo of dripping water to the ethereal glow of minerals. On the flip side, we have the house in the middle of the highway. Yes, you heard it right. This audacious abode stands smack dab in the center of a bustling road. The story goes that the owner refused to sell his property during the highway's construction, resulting in a peculiar sight indeed. The house, resilient and unyielding, remains a symbol of one man's defiance against change. Imagine living in a house in the middle of a highway. Talk about an adrenaline rush. Next up, Montenegro's Cat Museum and the intriguing Island of the Dead. The Cat Museum is a charming place that pays tribute to our feline friends. It's a delightful labyrinth of cat art, cat-themed knickknacks and informational panels detailing the history of cats in Montenegro. It's a perfectly unusual attraction that cat lovers won't want to miss. Shifting gears, we venture to the Island of the Dead, a small island with a big legend. It's said that the island got its name from a belief that it was the final resting place for ancient heroes. Today, it's a serene destination that blends natural beauty with a touch of mystery. The quiet tranquility of the island is a stark contrast to its ominous name. These places are proof that Montenegro is full of surprises. Moving on, we have the Starry Bar Ruins and the Blood Feud tradition. A remarkable testament to the passage of time, the Starry Bar Ruins are a sprawling archaeological site, home to remnants of civilizations that once thrived here. From the ancient Illyrians to the Romans, Byzantines, and Ottomans, each has left an indelible mark on this historic location shaping its unique architectural landscape. Now let's shift our gaze to a tradition that may seem outlandish to outsiders, but has deep roots in Montenegrin culture, the blood feud tradition. This ancient practice, also known as vendetta, was a code of honor, dictating that an offense against one family member was an offense against the whole family, often leading to cycles of retribution. While largely obsolete today, 
its influence can still be felt in the country's literature, folk tales, and social norms. Montenegro sure knows how to preserve its history, doesn't it? Last but not least, we have the Ostrog Monastery and the Sea Organ. Carved almost in defiance of nature into an almost vertical mountain cliff, the Ostrog Monastery is a testament to human will and architectural prowess. This Serbian Orthodox monastery, a place of pilgrimage, seems to merge with the rugged mountainous backdrop, presenting a sight that's nothing short of miraculous. Now let's dive into the harmonious world of the sea organ. This isn't your typical musical instrument. Set on the coast of the Adriatic Sea, the sea organ is a series of tubes and whistles embedded into the steps leading down to the water. As the waves crash against the steps, they push air through these tubes, creating a symphony of nature's own composition. It's a melody that's never the same twice, making it a beautiful, unpredictable marvel. And that's a wrap on the top 10 strange things that you'll only find in Montenegro. Well, there you have it, folks. Montenegro in all its quirky glory. We've journeyed through the peculiar charm of the dancing goat tradition, where locals dress up as goats and dance to the rhythm of traditional music, to the Museum of Old Computers, a testament to the country's tech history. We've explored the mysterious depths of the Lipa Cave and marveled at the architectural oddity of the house in the middle of the highway. We've wandered through the Cat Museum, where felines are celebrated, and felt the eerie tranquility on the island of the dead. We've roamed the historic ruins of Stari Bar, unveiling stories of ancient civilizations, and delved into the intriguing blood feud tradition, a practice that's thankfully mostly in the past. We've climbed the steps to the Ostrog Monastery, carved into a mountainside, and listened to the harmonious melodies of the sea organ, a unique musical instrument played by the Adriatic Sea itself. Each of these strange yet captivating facets of Montenegro paints a picture of a nation that's rich in culture, history, and a touch of the extraordinary. It's a place where the unusual becomes the norm and every corner holds a story waiting to be told. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these unique aspects of Montenegro. Which one sparked your curiosity the most? Are there any other peculiar things about Montenegro that you'd like to share? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating content. Until next time, happy travels.